mgonjo kitambo kitambo and mama yake alipata ku kupona but now currently they they are planning to relocate they are planning to relocate they are planning to relocate that's why they are trying to do the fundraising in the name of the mother is sick analia sana anatoa machozi most the lady anatoa machozi mingi sana so many prominent people who do promise things but they don't deliver we have a visa for united states we are planning even to move there and relocate but things are not working Of course, uh, to my amazing people, my name is Zed Gobiambo and I am a freelancer journalist from Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, guys, the picture you are seeing on the screen, I want you guys to take keen of the picture you are seeing on the screen. The two pictures you are seeing on the, of the screen, the other side and the other side. I want you guys to be keen exactly and please uh, make sure you guys make attentive because there is something we want to talk about it uh, right and now. It is either we address it right now or we address it right kabisa. I want to put it in a layman language that everybody who is watching this video is going to understand exactly what point am I trying to drive. When somebody has an issue, when somebody has a problem, when somebody really needs the attention and also the help of other people, we tend to use our social media handles to make sure that it reaches uh, the prominent or the people who may uh, be of help uh, to us. We will use the TikTok, we will use the TikTok app, we will use the Facebook, we will uh, use our Instagram, we are going to use our YouTube, any uh, social media platform that you feel uh, that you are going to be assisted. We can use also our Twitter to make sure that the uh, information is out there and somebody who is willing to assist you comes uh, through. The same same time these social media uh, uh, social media handles, people are using them to uh, lure, uh, lure people, scam people, and also, you know, uh, take advantage of it by, you know, uh, passing full information to people so that you get assistance. I want to talk about an issue of a lady by the name, uh, <clears throat> a minor, who happens to be a lady by the name Sheila Sheldon. Sheila Sheldon, together with the mother, of uh, Vivian Adiambo, they are all the people who are on the limelight and they are the people who are now trending on social media platform the truth and the fact that most of us kenyans are not exactly aware of is what exactly is happening let me put it in a layman language so that every kenyan who is watching this video and happens to be my followers or have been here can get to understand exactly because this information is not only meant for me but is also meant for everybody who participated to make sure that a certain coin has been channeled with an aim of assisting not knowing that this contribution that people are making, somehow there was a game being played. Of course. So guys, najaribu kumanisha hivi, kuna ya watu ambao wanatumia mitandao za kijamii kujifaidisha hao wenyewe, they use TikTok, wanatumia TikTok, wanatumia kila mitandao ya kijamii, kuminajili ya hao bine afisi kubenefit. Story yake Sheldon, Sheila Sheldon pamoja na mamake Vivian Adiambo ni story ambayo sasa hivi kila mtu anaiongelelea kwa sababu gani? Kuna yeye ukweli ambayo imekuwa ikifichwa sana na leo hii niko hapa kwa minajili tu ya kuelezea exactly what really happened. When you see this amazing lady ni mtoto mdogo yani mchanga bado ila kuna yeye mengi ambayo sasa hivi watu wanaongelelea kumkusu. Ile semekana kwamba mamake binafsi ambaye anajulikana kama Vivian Adiambo mamake binafsi ama mamake wale yani the biological mother to Sheila uh, uh, Sheila Sheila Sheldon ambaye anajulikana kama Vivian Adiambo alikuwa mgonjwa umesikia alikuwa mgonjwa and uh, there was a bill ama walikuwa wanahitaji 4.5 million the poster you are seeing here kwa minajili yake kwa minajili ya matibabu ya mamake so the person who was doing all of these and trying all her level best to make sure that the information is being passed across ni Sheila Sheldon I want you guys to listen 
Sheila Sheldon ni mtoto wake uh, Vivian Adhiambo. Umesikia? So Sheila Sheldon amekuwa kitumia social media handle zake sana sana kwa minajili ya kuelezea wakenya kwamba mamake anahitaji usaidizi mamake ni mgonjwa na mamake anahitaji usaidizi and they need 4.5 million they happens to make posters they happens to make posters and post them all over the social media platform and most of the people who felt that this was really in need they started doing what uh, they started uh, you know sharing this uh, thing and everybody was coming through to contribute toward this but guys let me tell you something it all became a drama when Kenyans are now opening their eyes if you are, you are, if you guys bado mifunga macho let me now give you the facts huyo msichana na mamake there is a game that they are playing to Kenyans huyo eh? msichana na mamake pamoja there is a game that they are playing and the game is here Ali, uh, let me just show you guys eh? this lady I want you guys to show you first of all the videos this lady has been doing all over the social media as she asks for people to come through and assist their family. Yeah. Just look at the videos guys. These videos that that you guys you are seeing here. These are the videos this lady amekuwa kichezesha sana kwenye mitandao za kijamii with an aim that anaomba watu wakuje wasaidie mamake eti mamake ni mgonjwa. Just go through these videos guys. I want you guys to go through these videos. Just to watch these videos carefully. Of course guys now see it is now or never that is the post some of the posts this uh, uh, Sheila Sheldon was posting eh? at this time now they were seeking for assistance eh? so it is uh, my mom's life eh? i want to just take you through it is my mom's life let me see the next uh, you guys want to see <clears throat> there is a lot of games that this lady and uh, nothing much saves her now you see and it was all being done on the social media the main reason why uh, she was doing this uh, to attract people's attention it is her eighth surgery yeah you see now this is what is happening this is what is happening so uh, Sheila Sheldon uh, she needs you right now don't let her down now you guys you see these are the kind of uh, the, the the papers this lady was writing and most of the people from TikTok were sympathizing with the lady kwa sababu TikTok imekuwa ni maneno maneno donate to save her life. So the, when she means donate, eh, anaamanisha kwamba she needs money. Eh? You guys donate money to save her life. And you guys all of this no amount is too small. No amount is too small. You see? Mhm mm mhm mm mhm mm mhm. Mm wow. This lady is really really impressive number and then the pay bill is there. Now you guys you see that is how everything was being done that is how everything was being done and the lady is claiming that she is only 14 years Sheila Sheldon claimed that she is only 14 years now guys there is something you want to also see here you know uh, they have also the paypal and the cash app uh, and then my name is I'm 14 years old my name is Sheila Sheldon I'm living in Mombasa Kenya yeah, I am an artist most popular uh, I, I, my life changed from a teenager to you know my mom is uh, dying and i have to, you know uh -huh. she now went seven major operations uh, she now have plastic instance uh -huh. well, guys you see the kind of information the lady was giving out they are shedding tears i don't know tears what are they <clears throat> And the main reason why these people are doing this, they are planning to relocate to United States of America. That is according to the information we have right now. These people are, yeah. Her mom's name is, that is Vivian. They are planning to relocate to United States of America. Huh? Bill is 4.5. They, 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 they need 4.5 M million, yeah? Now that is the mother now, Vivian. That is the mother called Vivian. Yeah. That is the time when she was in a hospital and the lady is now posting the videos currently and this was happening now you see they have done a lot of uh, posters this is one of the poster uh, posters if you happen to have the pictures of the mom and you post without you know the the details the, the payment details they were dming you and telling you to uh, to you know make sure that uh, you you don't upload like you pull it down eh? You pull it down, you pull it down. Now the mother. Now guys, I see something here. Uyu mama mikuwa na hii, it's called the, the crutches, eh? Ya kutembelea, kutembelea. Now, kila time she has it 
in the hospital na lazima kuwe nayo kwa bed hivi. I don't know why the main reason why she normally use like the other photo the other video also she has it there almost most of the video. Now I think they were planning before all these are being taken here. Yeah? Wana plan kwanza ndio kuja kuchukua. Guys the, we have a lot of information we are giving out today and we are not we are giving people's Kenyans to must and know exactly what is happening. Now they are the mother Vivian this is the mother called Vivian that is the mother Vivian Adiambo. Mm -hmm. Guys 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 why am I against these videos that you guys have just watched? Mbona niko against these videos? Where is the truth? Why am I saying that these people are playing tricks to Kenyans? The truth is here. This lady amekuwa ni drama queen and I want to say drama queen niseme kama yeye ni drama queen. Personally, Vivian Adhiambo hapo nyuma alisemaga kwenye kanisa fulani and according to mimi says yesema kwamba ni ukweli kwa sababu first of all I don't know exactly shida imekuwa ni nini because when I feel like I'm sharing this is because there is something that is hidden. Mimi personally I was not the doctor who happens to diagnose this lady ama mimi I was not the doctor who play part to make sure that this lady amekuwa sawa. But now the truth comes here. Ali last year this alienda kwenye one of the churches. Ha? Alienda one of the churches na kaanza kuelezea. And we look at this ni kwamba all of these were something that were created. Eh? All of these akaenda akasema kwamba nini and in that same same church alisema kwamba they have visas yeah we are planning to relocate to United States of America they have got visas and the only the only problem they have the only problem they have is that they financially broke and the main reason at that time uyu mama alikuwa amepona Uyu mama alikuwa amepona. But when you look at the poster that is now trending all over the social media, wanasema kwamba she has gone. I don't know nine you what? Nine something what? Hii ni surgery ama nini? Nine, nine eh? But at the same same time when she was in church last year alikuwa sawa. I'm being informed that let me guys first of all before I give you the version of the other party kwamba I want you guys to watch the video Mamake binafsi wakiwa kwenye kanisa and also the daughter Sheila Sheldon together with the mother Vivian Adhiambo wakiwa kwenye kanisa wakijaribu kusema ama they were like giving a testimony and they were giving our testimony to the church and explaining how and they were giving out their problems wakisema kwamba they are financially broke they are planning to relocate if today I happen to say that this money the 4.5 million that is being contributed online are being is being contributed so that uh, 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 these uh, family relocate to United States of America. Will I be saying? Will I be lying to Kenyans? Kenyans, you need to open your eyes that uh, the family they are really contributing this money. There is nobody who is sick currently. Mamake, the pictures that is now circulating all over the social media. This is when Alikuwa Mgonjo, but currently she is doing well. So these videos that you guys are seeing is circulate all over the social media. These are the, these are some of the videos akiwa mgonjwa the other time. But currently wanaishi Mombasa and they are, the only problem they have they are financially broke. So Vivian yeah yeah the, it is being said that the person who came up with the plans ni mtoto ambaye ni Sheila Sheldon. First of all before to figure kwa Sheila Sheldon guys I want you guys to watch the video Mamaki akiwa kanisani akielezea akielezea kwamba the main reason they were financially broke and they are planning to travel to uh, it's called United States of America. So me personally what I feel ni kwamba you guys Kenyans you need to know exactly that the family they are really 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 fighting so that they get some uh, money so that they relocate to United States of America. Things to do with India it is like nothing else is happening. So guys, just to watch the video, uone mamake personally akielezea they are financially broke. Watch the video guys. My name is Vivian Adiambotia. I'm working with the Kenya as a chief inspector of prisons. Man of God, my life has not been good. I've been suffering. I had uh, six major operations. I'm surviving with the plastic intestines and I also lost my uterus at the age of 24. I've been uh, having a financial problem. As we are talking, I have a lot of debt. And uh, I also have a lot of court issues after the separation with uh, my ex-husband. And right now, I'm with uh, my husband, which we married on 11th of uh, June. 
but everything is not working. My daughter here, she is an artist, she draws. She has met so many prominent people who do promise things, but they don't deliver. We have a visa for United States. We are planning even to move there and relocate, but things are not working. After watching this video guys na tumeona kwamba Sheila amekuwa sana kwenye frontline akijaribu kupigania akisema kwamba life it is now or never. Have you guys came through another post nasema it is now or never? Hmm? It is now or never. <laughs> it is now or never. Yeah? And you guys help me it is now or never. Now let me give you guys. You guys have watched mamake personally akisema kwamba they are financially broke and uh, they have got they have got you know they have got visas. Hmm? We are planning to locate United States of America. We have got visas and the doors are not opening because they are financially broke. Today they are in the social media platform and they are really, really, really the posters and everything is really locating the pay bill numbers. I don't know the what, the till and the M-Pesa things are really, are really imeenda. Najua wengi wenye wamechanga pesa sana buwana. Najua wengi wenye wamechanga pesa. Bada santeni sana muna wachangia pesa. In the name of somebody who is sick, which is wrong, and they are really planning to travel to uh, relocate to, you know, United States of America. Who gave out, who came up with the plans of relocating, who came up with the plan that we can make money through this? We can make money through this. Who came up with the plan? Now, I know most of you guys, you are asking yourself, who really came up with the plan? Now, the person who came up with the plan is the minor. The lady by the name Shayla Sheldon, and I say, I'm 14 years. Personally, I will not judge. I'll not judge because Mimi is the only idea because I think most of these dramas ziko mingi sana. So, it has happened. Eh? So, the person who came out with these stories ni Sheila Sheldon. Yenda liambia mamaki, we can do this. I want you guys to listen to somebody who clarify this. Eh? Akijaribu kutueleze exactly what is really happening. Guys, just listen to somebody akijaribu kusema pia akitoa maoni yake kuhusiana na hiyo mambo na mchangu. Who came up with the plan? Listen, guys. Ali gonze kanga mara ya kwanza. Ah. Aka ku admitted. Ah. Vila ali ku admitted akatoka. Ah. So vila ali toka kuna vile job yake vitu hazijaienda kwa. Unaona tu mali safi vile umezoea soft life. Huyo huyo demo alikuwa okay. anaishi, huyo mama alikuwa anaishi. Mimi maadia mimi not get... nimemjua kama alikuwa polisi. Yeah, hata ni baadhi ya mingi. Eh? Yeah. So vile alikuja job ika ikakuwa mbaya mambo ikakuwa turn off nini nini so huyo msichana wake ndo alikuja na those ideas wakianza kutumia hizo picha za kitambo hospitalini hata time yenye mmekuwa mkichanga ijuzi walikuwa tu kwa nyumba and they are planning to go to US to leave the country Okay my dear okay just a minute my dear Okay uh... Guys, you are listening to what people are saying. Now, guys, eh, I want just to go to uh, the post. Eh? There is a post that I've seen somewhere here. And guys, before I go to that post, so we have somebody by the name uh, Hillary worked with, I think, Tuko Alik Kujanaka post. And uh, uh, Sheldon, uh, uh, Sheila Sheldon had the guards to go and ask that journalist to please remove a lot. Let me just mention, uh, to ask that journalist to please remove the post kwa sababu alisau hakuweka number like the contribution number like the details zile za kutuma pesa hakuweka pale so this journalist happened just to post and they wanted this one to be adv advertised so that hiyo number watu wapate wanapata kwa wingi wapate kuchangisha but this journalist happens to post the uh, the, the, the story without the details za kuonyesha kwamba mchango inafaa kuchaneliwa wapi so this lady had the guts to come there and write a full scap, the whole, I don't know, the whole full scap, the whole paragraph, telling this journalist, Tafadhali, tore that post. The other people are posting with the number. If you happens to post this and you happens to be a verified account or you happens to be somebody who has a celebrity and you're posting it without uh, without uh, the details, the paying, the like, you know, the payment details, this is a person in a fact, wapi. The lady was going there, alafa nambia watu, you are not supposed to post this tour. You see? So guys, wacha ngonyeshe kidogo. How people, the Kenyans on TikTok, Kenyans on TikTok, who also happens to contribute a lot of money, I want you guys to see what is happening this other side. <clears throat> so, uh, let me just show you guys. Sheila Sheldon, what is happening here? 
Guys, we're being this. Sheila Sheldon. I want to just to show you something, guys. I want to I want to show you what is happening. Uh, of course, uh, of course. So when you look at Sheila Sheldon, artist Kenya, and then now, guys, let me just give you what is happening. So far, so good. So the, the lady has been really crying all over the social media. I can't lie to you. You can see the poster that this lady. I'm a quick Elias Sana, by the way. Not Kenyans, you are not knowing that these all of these are dramas. I'm Elias Sana, by the way, on social media. I'm Elias Sana on social media. I want to tell you people we seek sympathy. And then the video you guys are seeing up, in Mamake Kom Gonjo Kitambo, Kitambo, and Mamake Alipata Ku, Upona. But now, currently, they, they are planning to relocate. They are planning to relocate. They're planning to relocate. That's why they are trying to do the fundraising. In the name of the mother is sick. Analia sana antoma chuzi most. The lady antoma chuzi mingi sana. Let's go to the comment section very fast. Let's go to the comment section. It's there. Uh, the Kenyans, Kenyans on TikTok. Kenyans on TikTok. Kwa shalanza kusema hivi. Mama yako mwenyewe anaona akai mgonjwa. Mama yako mwenyewe anaona. And then akasema hivi, why has she specified at friends from abroad? Guys, there is kitu, kitu, kitu bwana. There is things that you need to see. A Kenyan, somebody, uh, uh, a Kenyan sapa on TikTok amesema kwamba, why has she specified at friends from uh, abroad? They are planning to relocate to United States of America. They happens to live, wapo nyumba, wapo nyuma, nyuma, waliku wanaka, maisha soft soft, the other side, wakarudi, wakaka Mombasa. Now they are planning to go back. That's why they are specifying, uh, the specific people, they are, wanasema watu wa US wasaidie. The contribution, the 4.5M that they want. <laughs> watu wamesema hata, anasema kumba 14 years look older than me in my late 30s. Wanasema, they have questioned even the age of that uh, Sh Sheila Sheldon. Wanasema kwamba the age, age ya ingiani kabisa. Hmm? Mutu wamesema hapa, unalia ukifunga macho ndiyo machozi iteremuke, na kosa usingizi ni kifuatilia hii ukora. Guys, sis, be specific abroad gani. So guys, it's all about stories, guys. It's all about stories. It's all about stories. I know, guys, wale wa kureverse. Nawambia kama mulituma na impesa reverse ni bana. Mimi nisha sema. If you feel like reversing, tuma buwana. Reverse buwana. Reverse. <laughs> Kenyans, you need reverse. Mimi personalizezi wa danganya. If you feel like you want to reverse, you guys, you can reverse. Kwa sababu we are played. Tumecheswa. I go by the name Edgo Diambo. Hii ya leo imekuwa ngumu sana, guys, and you have seen. I was trying to clarify, give you facts about it, what is happening. Guys, you can see what is really happening. Kenyans have been fooled. Kenyans have been fooled. Tumedanganywa, wamechanga pesa saya, tujuu kama yo 4.5 mefika. Kenyans are really sympathizing with them. Kenyans, please, uh, uh, information that I have to you, uh, other people who think that through the online fraternity, you can be assisted, you can be helped. Please use the right channel. Tafadhali kuwa mtu wa ukweli. Kama ni relocation angetuambia kwamba nitaka kurelocate bwana. Si kuja kuchukua pesa za watu uh, kwa minaji litu ya kurelocate to, to, South, uh, you know, to United States of America. Yeah, it is not good. Eh? Of course, guys, tell me at the comment section. You guys who happens to watch this, tell me at the comment section. Ini uwezi ya inagayani? Ini uwezi? Ama there is a genuine contribution that people are doing. Je, ini uwezi ambayo saizi ni new method of stealing from people? Ama ni aji? Tell me at the comment section, guys. My name is Edgo Diambo, and I am a freelancer journalist from Nairobi, Kenya. Bye-bye, guys. Let's miss on our next video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Chanuka. Chanuka, my guy. Chanuka. Thank you, guys.